everyone, and welcome to another episode of Design Cut Builds. I'm Mark Humphreys, and in this week's episode, we decided to build a welding cart. And not just any welding cart, but the ultimate fabrication cart. It's got the FlexCut 80 hand plasma cutter on it. It's got the PowerMeg 210 MP. It's got the Square Wave TIG 200. It's got a place where you can manage all the different cables, torches, and guns. It's got some basic fabrication glove storage and your TIG gloves, MIG gloves, your welding helmet, welding jacket. It's got some gas bottle storage. We even did a sleeve on the gas bottles to insulate it from the plasma cutting process, which is gonna happen over here. So this is a pretty complex design. It was a pretty outlandish idea, and we decided to do it all first in a three-dimensional CAD software program. So let's start explaining that. So here's the 3D model of our welding cart. And you can see just how complex the entire design is. Everything from the 15 degree slant on the plates that support our welders to how the plates are staggered and supported. Doing this 3D rendering first helped us generate a cut list for the frame, which made cutting the square tubing go very smoothly. And it also helped us think about everything that a welder would need on a welding cart. Some of those details included the hands that would hold up our gloves, the welper cutout, and our welding hood stand. As the ideas started to flow, we would update our Torchmate CAD drawing. Here's all of the flat plate that will be used on our welding cart. Everything from the slats in the plasma grate to the cable management handles, it's all incorporated into this design file. We had a bunch of four foot sections of 3 plate laying around our facility, so we condensed the design files into multiple jobs that we would nest onto these plates. Let's start cutting them all out. The Torchmate 4400 made quick work of all of our cutouts, and now it's time to start bending some of our designs. The hands were too wide to fit into the gloves, so we performed a few bends down both the middle and on the thumb, and that seemed to do the trick. The rest of the build process, although time consuming, was pretty easy. We just followed the 3D model and started welding each piece where it belonged, making sure that each piece was square and in the right spot before completely welding it in place.
so much for watching this week's episode of Design Cut Build. We hope you enjoyed this build project, and if you did, let us know about it in the comment section below. To watch last week's video, click here. To subscribe to our YouTube channel, click here. And as always, you can find this build project and many others on fabricationforum.com under the DIY section. We'll see you next time.